Hello, welcome in Shane Reardon, Odyssey Chicago, here with Chef Nick from Jake Melnick's Corner Tap, one of the premier wing joints, burger joints, elevated bar food joints in the city of Chicago, right on Superior in Wabash. Today, we're doing Super Bowl wings because there's no easier way to please your large group of people than with wings, and we're going to show you how easy it can be with Jake Melnick's Corner Tap wings and their signature sauce. Chef Nick, how you doing? Good, good. Great to be here, Shane. Good. Thank you for coming. So you brought your wings pre-cooked. We're going to make the sauce from your nice mise en place here, right? I'm going to tell you first how I do my okay. wings at home, and you're going to tell me if I'm an idiot or if I, uh, I'm just I'll never like say an that. amateur home cook, right? I'm not pretending to be anything else. So I do one part baking soda, ba baking powder, okay. to four parts salt. And then however much I need for however many wings I'm doing, overnight in the fridge, uncovered. Is that good for someone at home? Yeah, that's that's great for somebody at home. Okay. Um, so the way we do it, we at actually home. don't see the difference <laughs> at home and going to Jake Melnick's at home. We don't. I, I don't judge. You know, sure we uh, <laughs> we do a, a seasoned flour. Actually, does not have uh, baking powder, baking soda in it, but generally it's uh, garlic, white pepper, salt, Lowry seasoned salt okay. with the flour, and it is a two-step or two-day process. Okay. You know, it's kind of the same concept. So we actually toss them in the flour, dredge them really well. We power blanch them, power fry them, lay them out on sheet trays. You know, for the Super Bowl, we'll have, I'll be putting them in our beer coolers and, and yep. they're all over the place. Um, about six minutes, we power blanch them. Then the next day, when we get the orders to order, we fry them up crisp. And for people who don't know what power blanch is, right? That means you're dropping it in boiling water. Exactly. and cooking yeah. it only part way yeah we're, we're using the in this term case we're using the fryer oil okay. as for blanching okay and then um yeah only about part way and then to order we drop them down again the whole process is about 12 to 14 minutes of cooking okay. time um higher temperature when we finish them at 350. um you know cooking the one trick is chicken is normally cooked to 165 sure. you, you've heard and i know but on these, we also like to say here when we do like our cooking stuff, don't be afraid to get sick every once in a while. <laughs> so like underdo it a little bit Too because you'd juicy, rather it be yeah. a little more juicy than overdone, a little right? More juicy, yeah, I'm not yeah. a proponent of that for like a restaurant, <laughs> but if I'm doing it on my own, that's an interesting concept. Yeah, okay. unfortunately for a restaurant, I can't do that. But yeah. no, but actually we can go like 175, 180. They'll get really crisp. They're still gonna say juicy. Um, Especially with a dark meat, right? Yeah, a, a wing, yeah. a, a leg. Yeah, thing. yeah. So they're going to stay totally juicy and crisp at, at higher temperature. But we really want that crispiness, juiciness on the inside. Yeah. Especially when you, you know, when you toss them in the sauce, they can get a little yeah. soggy. Some places do, but ours still stays pretty crisp. All right. So let's move these out of the way. Let's yeah. start your sauce. I think we were talking earlier. My favorite thing so far that, and we haven't talked about the sauce yet. I'll switch spots with you so you can be by the pot. Sure. But you start with bacon. So you're, the base of sure. your sauce is the rendered bacon fat, yeah? Exactly, okay. so we can't go wrong with that. So yeah. we're gonna put some of that bacon in there. In there. Nice sizzle. Yeah, so we're gonna do a whiskey barbecue. Whiskey today. barbecue, yeah. okay, which one's the whiskey? I just wanna see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is, don't, is don't. that one the whiskey? Yeah, I have extra okay. later if you wanna try okay. it. Yeah. yeah, okay. So yeah, we're just gonna render that. So we're gonna use the fat um, Are you just as using our oil. Like a... So I didn't even add any oil to the pan. Right, perfect. Just use, use the fat of, from the bake. Like a low proof whiskey, a high proof whiskey, what works best with something like this? Something like, a, put like an 80 to 90 proof. Okay, kind like of a run, Jim Beam. Solid, okay. yeah. Jim Beam, okay. Benchmark, something like that. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't do a rye. I would stick more to a bourbon. Okay. That's a little more sweetness to it. Okay, so okay. bacon's in. We're going to yep. let that render down. Yeah, we'll let that bit. go just for another minute or so. Okay. Heat wise on the sauce, what do you recommend people do? Do you, you recommend starting lower, especially with the bacon, to slowly render out the fat? Exactly. Yes, yeah, so you really know fat? what you're doing. I Come can on, see dude. that. Man. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to be it's just like some kind of idiot. <laughs> exactly. Start out a little low, medium, medium low, just to render some of that bacon. And then we'll, we'll, we'll turn it up a little bit here. And is there any preference on the bacon? Is it like a, is it an applewood smoked? Is it like a, a, a cured, a non-cured, a peppered this is a, bacon? This is a good call. This is actually an applewood, applewood okay. uh, smoked bacon. So okay. yeah, we can go with the uh, onion. I'm leaving the bacon in there. We're going to cook it. Yeah, of course. Do, do we end up straining all those bits out or do you? No, we're going to leave it right in there. Love that. We're going to leave it right in there. 
So it's, we went in with the onion. Did, you went white onion or yellow onion? I did. Uh, it's a Spanish onion and yellow onion. Okay. So for the the sauce, you it's can a do bit white. Sweeter. Yeah, it has a little bit more sweetness to it. Okay. Uh, more than the white will, but yeah, this. So the components of this sauce, you have the little bit of spicy. Sure. You have some sweet chili thai, some crushed red pepper. Obviously, some, some sweetness with the barbecue. We're going to add some brown sugar, sure. some orange juice. So you kind of get a little bit of everything. So, so cook this for a minute or so. You threw the garlic in there. Yep. And I know some people at home make the mistake of either adding the garlic too early or adding the garlic at too high of a heat. And that garlic tends to burn easily. Yeah, because right? this is perfect taste. now. Because, yeah, once it gets, too, it gets browned, basically, you're going to be done. And it's going to be bitter. All right, so. so we're in there with the bacon. Let that go for a couple minutes. Yep. The yellow onion, Spanish onion, and then your I minced garlic. It. Keep this bourbon away from me if you don't You mind. don't have to. You're not a responsible adult. <laughs> it's after, Only, what time it's is after it? 10, so I might, you might be ready. I don't know. No, so. I'm doing, oh, so I'm doing like damp January where like I'm completely dry unless I don't want to be. And I have like, I mapped out certain days over the month that I, like I've got a birthday party coming up this weekend for somebody. So I knew I wanted to get hammered then. So I've like stayed dry. I like that like damp. I might hours. steal that one. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I anyway. try to be damp till about three, four in the afternoon. Sure. And then I Smart. go for it. So it's kind of a variation of that, but I'm going to go ahead and add. Oh, you put all of it in there. Yeah, I put all of it in there. Oh, yeah. that's too I'm not shy, you know. Yeah, I wasn't saying you were shy. <laughs> I wanted what was left at the bottom. So yeah, we're <laughs> so yeah, we'll let that cook for a little bit. You can actually it smells great. Yeah, let me get in there. Oh yeah, how about that? Whew. Crank this up. I think it smells like college. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get that going. Um, you're gonna render off, burn off probably most of the alcohol, sure. but um, yeah, it'll be great. It's gonna be balanced, nice, balanced, sweet, savory, everything kind of what we're looking for. But yeah, it's smelling good. It smells real so good. Now we're going to pretty much, we're going to add everything else in here too. Great. So this is our, uh, our Levy Restaurant's Jake's Propriety Barbecue Sauce. Sure. It's so it's a, kind of a traditional made Kansas made barbecue sauce. This is already made. This is made for us. Special. Okay. It's made for the whole company. Okay. Um, we used to make it at Jake's, but yeah. it's uh, broadened out now a little bit. So we make a lot of, um, especially for specials, we do a lot of homemade barbecues as well. Um, for the special, this is a sweet chili Ooh. Thai sauce. What do you think? I the, love that, dude. Is it, are they both the same? I'll check. Those are both the same, sure. yeah. Are we sure? <laughs> we did a, a, cr a cranberry barbecue both around Christmas. We did a smoked apple barbecue sauce. Those were all homemade that we did. Um, so I had some sweet chili. I did some orange juice. Oh, orange juice is coming up right here. See, the person standing next to me, you have to tell me if there's barbecue sauce in my mustache or beard. <laughs> and I just found some. I think you're, you're good. You're, you I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it. Whatever, man. Uh, don't be mad at me now. Molasses. <laughs> okay. That is has that a, a nice richness. Is that like a barley malt molasses or is that like a... Yeah, that's a more of a, a malt, malt okay. molasses. So it's not, it's not super sweet, but brown sugar. Okay. And then just like a neutral oil? That one. Yeah, I don't need any okay. oil, actually. Okay. And then we're going to stir that up. God, that looks good. Yeah, basically, we're just going to let this go. What I like about this is you get the, when, you know, when we plate the wings, you get a nice, you get some of the garnish, yeah. the, the bacon on the wings, is, which is really nice. Do you want me to throw those wings in the oven to warm them? Yeah, we yeah, can do that. that They're now. all fully cooked, oh. but okay. salt and pepper. Now, do you recommend seasoning at every step, or do you taste at the end and then? Because you got diff different levels of salt in all these ingredients. Yeah, right? I'm gonna let all that go, and then we'll we'll try it at the end. Okay. And just kind of see where we're at. That's what I I usually uh, we'll taste it certain times throughout the course. Yeah. Depending on what I'm making. Sure. But we definitely will check it for seasoning. Now, if people at home want to make these wings for their Super Bowl party, but they don't want to be as involved as like this 12 ingredient steps by steps for the barbecue sauce, we're talking like brown sugar, maybe a shallot as a base, and then like ketchup, maybe a coarse mustard. Brown sugar or honey. Honey, sure. Um, for sure, mustard. The you bourbon's can, easy. You can do Everybody's bourbon, you can do like an apple cider vinegar sure. to balance this out, and that's about it. That's all okay. you need for barbecue sauce. It's it's the same as every every step of cooking, right? Like salt, acid, fat, heat. Exactly. That's it. You know, garlic, shallots, onions, kind of like the base of what we do. Sure. And then, yeah, like you said, the orange, you have balance, you have a little acidity, has some, I always like a little bit of spice. Yeah. I brought some 4X wings that are really spicy. Okay. But um, I like a little bit of heat and everything just to balance with the sweetness. So. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's get a little bit here. 
Let's see where we're at. You can tell me what we need. I mean, maybe a little bit of salt, but maybe not. I think that's your call. I go for a little professional. I'm, I'm pretty. Um, I have like a high salt. tolerance for salt. Yeah, I so like heavy salt. The guys always give me a hard time in the restaurant because they think that I like it too much. But no such thing. I'm like, I hate going to restaurants and the food's not is under season. Right. right. It's like, what's the point? We can we can do better at home. Yeah. So we. Have, All right. A lot of bowls going out at the restaurant. For sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume so, man. I I mean. The most underappreciated job has to be the dishwasher, especially in a place like this. Yeah, sauce yes. after sauce. Very, after sauce. very busy, uh, obviously. And the, and the fry, fry person, too. Oh, yeah. Pretty, they're, they're very busy as well. Of so, yeah, I think we can. Uh, I kill it? Let's okay. do it. All right, is there a technique to this, or is it just basically keep all the wings in the yeah. bowl? Keep it in the bowl, just kind of give it a little slip. Snap back. This is a little, little bigger than we normally do. Don't try that at home. Yeah, guys. don't. It's professionals only. Ooh. Baby, all the bacon still in there, the onions. Lord. Get that. I don't want back. I don't want to get on your mustache. I mean, it's going to get on there anyway. You know how many relationships I've lost because I've had <laughs> like, some mustard in my mustache for a week? I mean, they, they say You're that's staying not the true reason. to yourself, though. That's the important yeah. thing. All right, I think we're ready to. Could be that or the fear of commitment. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Now, do you garnish with anything? Or do you just say, Here, here's your wing, eat it? And for this particular wing, yeah, yeah, it's, it's here's your wing, eat it. Love that. Um, you have to see like the bits of the garlic, the bacon, the onion. Um, on the firecracker wing, we like to do green onions. Sometimes it's fresh cilantro, mm -hmm. parsley. But yeah, this one, it's kind of is what it is. But it's pretty hot if you want to try yeah, one. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. If I'm <laughs> ready to burn my mouth yet. I mean, how hot is it? No, we could do that. We could do that. Same school of thought here. Yeah. Let's peel the top back. I love this technique. What about for the drummies? You know, well, you don't eat them, so you know. Well, I just put a wing in my mouth, Nick, yeah. so it's not a good time to ask me a question. <laughs> Brother. My God. Good, good, good. Balanced, everything. Enough heat. Plenty of heat. Yeah. Not overwhelming. Um, I'm going to take your towel over here and wipe my face. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. Dude, that um, is so good. For sure. And like you said, at home, you can kind of, I hate to use the word kind of, I don't want to say dummy it down. Keep it simple. For sure. You, no, dude, there are a lot of dumb people out there. You got to make it as simple <laughs> as possible. when you got a lot of things going on at home, you got four, five, six different things going on. Yeah. I always, you know, I, I try to keep it easy, have a little plan, get, get, get some prep done the day before, mm -hmm. so then you're not overwhelmed that day. It's all about getting, getting things done ahead of time as much as you can. My favorite thing about this is... On that one wing, I probably got like two little pieces of bacon, yeah, which I've that, never yeah. thought about leaving the bacon in there before. Yeah. I always strain yeah, it out. Yeah, a lot of times you, you strain it out or say to remove it. That's an insane no, addition. There. Yeah. Yeah, it really brings it out. You got, you know, the smokiness from the bacon. You got some, some heat from the sweet chili, the, yeah. the red pepper, obviously sweetness with everything else going on. So, yeah. And just Balance. at the base, a high quality chicken wing is probably the most important thing here, right? Not yeah. something pumped with hormones and steroids. No, so the important thing is in the restaurant, we get them in, you know, six days a week, fresh, obviously. Yeah. Always fresh, never frozen. It's a jumbo split wing. Yeah. It's hard to find. Oh, you don't have to split them yourself? No, we get them all already okay. split. It's hard to find uh, th those that size in the, yeah. in the grocery stores, but hey, that's why we're special, right? right. Otherwise, you'd make them at home. So. Are, are you not someone who gets high on their own supply? Am I the only one eating? Uh, no, no, I'm not going to try you, it. But I'll eat a leg if you I, eat a I, leg. I have, just for quality control, I eat about, I'm going to go crazy, about three to four wings a, a day. So I won't want the jummy to get a little Christ. less messy, but yeah, that's really good, I have to say. Not just because I made it, but. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, Nick, thank you very much. Jake Melnick's Corner Taps, Pyrian Wabash, downtown. Sorry, I got food in my mouth. Yeah, it's the too. least professional thing in the world, but I don't care because it's authentic. Because when you're cooking at home, you're trying your stuff as you're doing it, and you still got people to talk to. You got a dog to yell at. You got a kid to yell at. Try so that's, supply, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Jake Melnick's Corner Taps, Pyrian Wabash, Championship Sunday, this Sunday. Take a week off. Get ready for the Super Bowl. Either go there and watch it or order for pickup, Enjoy delivery, everything. whatever. We're, we'll be ready for you. Nick, thank you very much. Thank man. you, brother. Thank you. Thanks.